Hello Star Munchers, Max here, back playing Portal 2. It has actually been quite a while since I last recorded. The first episode that you saw in this series was actually recorded in September, and it is now December. Uh, I had it ready to go right after I finished Portal 1, but Totman advised me to play something else in between, so that way my skills weren't as sharp, and um, I, think, I think that's been accomplished. I think I'm thoroughly unpracticed by now uh so we're gonna see how this goes i played an entire game in between the first portal game and the second one so uh i'm pretty out of the loop as far as portal logic like my brain was firing on all cylinders before right so uh yeah we're in the second game and it is more haunting than i remember i completely forgot about the post-apocalyptic you know potentially thousands of years in the future aspect of it completely forgot that i just thought the facility was wrecked after the first game but no this is a, a time jump so we need to go through her room which i can only assume who that is going to be so we'll see how this goes okay i'm gonna lay my cards on the table i don't want to do it i don't want to go in there don't don't go in there don't, she, she's off she's off don't panic over it. she's off all fine on we go oh wow Like, GLaDOS's, like, final act in the first game was to, like, drag Chell back underground. Which is crazy. So this is, like, where we fought her with the neurotoxin? There she is. What a nasty piece of work she was, honestly. Like a proper maniac. Do you know who ended up, uh, do you know who ended up taking her down in the end? You're not gonna believe this. A human. I know. I know. I wouldn't have believed either. Apparently this human escaped and uh, nobody's seen him since. Then there was a sort of long chunk of time where um, absolutely nothing happened. And then there's us escaping now. So um, that's pretty much the whole story. You're up to speed. Don't touch anything. Hmm. I don't even know where I'm going. I just step over her head. Ugh. This is where I destroyed the other personality cores. Okay, I remember that going up there. And Ratman's been over here. Hmm. Okay, down these stairs. Jump! This, actually, look at that. That is quite a, that's quite a distance, isn't it? Okay, you know what? Uh, go ahead and jump. You've got you've got braces on your legs, so you're all set. Although no braces on your arms, though, so you're going to have to rely on the old human strength to keep a grip on the device and, by extension, me. So do do really make sure. You ah! Oh, still held, still being held. You think that's a great job? You've applied the grip. We're all fine. That's tremendous. Thanks, pal. Can we not go in there? Dang it, I want to go in there. This behind the walls type stuff is even creepier when you're ah, I just sorry, I just looked down. I do not recommend it. Thousands ah, of years in the future when everything's busted. Yeah. What's the run one rule of movies, Wheatley? Don't look down and then immediately look down. This is the main breaker room. Let's go in. I do not remember this at all. That's a Look lot of breakers. That says escape pod. All right, don't touch anything else. Not interested in anything else. Don't touch anything else. Don't even, don't even look at anything else. Just, well, obviously you've got to look at everything else to, to find the escape pod. But as soon as you look at something that doesn't say escape pod, look at something else. Look at the next thing. a lot of breakers. Right? Don't touch anything else or look at anything. Well, look at other things, but don't. You understand. Can you see it anywhere? I can't see it anywhere. Uh, tell you what, plug me in and I'll turn the lights on. There you go. Let there be light. That's, uh, God. Just quoting God. Thanks, Wheatley. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ominous. But probably fine, as long as it doesn't start, you know, moving up. Now. Escape pod, escape pod. It's, it's moving up. Okay. Okay, oh. no, don't, don't worry, don't worry. Oh, oh I'm, I'm bad. Gonna, bad, bad. No, it makes it go faster. Bad, stop, you're uh -oh. turning everything on. Power up initiated. Okay, don't panic. All right, stop panicking. Uh, I can, I can still stop this. Um... Oh, there's a, there's a password. 
Well, look what you, look what you I completely don't remember any of this. A A A A A. You are responsible for waking her back up, you moron. A A A A A C. I But with the personality cores gone, how does this work? I don't Okay, 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 listen. All right, new plan. It's you. You know her? It's been a long time. How have you been? I've, I've been better. Been really busy being dead. You know, after you murdered me. You did what? Uh... Oh, no! Oh, that's bad. Oh, I dropped the portal gun. Okay, look. We both said a lot of things that you're going to regret. But I think we can put our differences behind us. For science, you monster. I will say, though, that since you went to all the trouble of waking me up, you must really, really love to test. I love it, too. There's just one small thing we need to take care of first. Yeah. That, that checks out. I guess all's fair. Even though you brought me back down... I was positive of that. Am I supposed to be dodging this stuff or nope, just complete free fall? Well, uh, at least uh mm. Hopefully we didn't turn like all the furnaces back on or whatever. Man, I got some strong legs. Incinerator room. Be careful not to trip over any parts of me that didn't get completely burned when you threw them down here. The dual portal device should be around here somewhere. Once you find it, we can start testing, just like old time. Great. There's nothing I enjoy more. Goodness, this is like the lava level in Lego Star Wars when you Anakin and Obi-Wan fight. Um, that was a mistake. Yep, mistake. Okay, well, message received. I'll just stay on the obvious metal path, maybe. That might be a good idea. Here we are. The incinerator room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be careful not to trip over you can any parts of respectfully it shut it. When you threw them down here. Yeah, you have no right to be mad at me. Should be around here somewhere. Once you find it, we can start testing. Just like old Can I save this one? Or are you going to try and shoot me? Can I save you? I gotcha. Okay. Well, that was short-lived. There it is. Hold on. There. Good. You have a dual portal device. There should be a way back to the testing area up ahead. Once testing starts, I'm required by protocol to keep interaction with you to a minimum. Luckily, we haven't started testing yet. This will be our only chance to talk. Here, let me get that for you. Do you know the biggest lesson I learned from what you did? I discovered I have a sort of black box quick save feature. In the event of a catastrophic failure, the last two minutes of my life are preserved for analysis. I was able, well, forced really, to mimic you killing me again and again, forever. You know, if you'd done that to somebody else, they might devote their existence to exacting revenge. Luckily, I'm a bigger person than that. I'm happy to put this all behind us and get back to work. After all, we've got a lot to do, and only 60 more years to do it. More or less. Hmm. I don't have the actuarial tables in front of me. I don't like random moving metal pieces. Not a fan. Okay, I remember this room. Where we had to bounce the thing, I think. You know what I mean. I don't like this. Wait, is that a... A rat tunnel? Nope. Definitely not. Okay, I guess we just keep moving forward. That's all I got. Okay, 19. I'll just move that out of the way for you. This place really is a wreck. But the important thing is you're back. With me. And now I'm on to all your little tricks. 
so there's nothing to stop us from testing for the rest of your life. After that, who knows? I might take up a hobby. Reanimating the dead, maybe. Hmm. That'd be pretty cool if you could manage that. GLaDOS would make one heck of a necromancer. <sighs> this place is funky. Well, uh, I completely forgot that Wheatley, in, in his ineptitude, managed to switch her back on. Completely forgot that. I don't know if I remember explaining it, but it has been years since I played this game. And Sorry about the mess. It's I've been really a minute. The place go since you killed me. By the way, thanks for that. Sarcasm self-test complete. Oh good, that's back online. I'll start getting everything else working while you perform this first simple test, which involves deadly lasers and how test subjects react when locked in a room with deadly lasers. Oh, great. <coughs> okay, well we got slime. Okay. I can only assume that's our hot spot. Hmm. Okay, I probably need to do that once I'm in position. There we go. Not bad. I forgot how good you are at this. You should pace yourself, though. We have a lot of tests to do. Mm-hmm. I think GLaDOS is probably one of the best, like, AI characters that exists in, like, media. I think they did a really good job at making a memorable character, uh, but who is also really enjoyable to listen to. Like, I, I wonder how they did the voice stuff for it, I just uh, GLaDOS. finished building them before you had your, well, episode. So now we'll both get to see how they work. There should be one in the corner. I, I really do like how destroyed everything is, though. Like, I know that's supposed to be a creep factor, but I actually really like that. Okay. Jumping. I'll take you. Thank you very much. Careful. There we go. We safe? We good? Excellent. Okay, it's a good thing we can clear those. Whoops. I guess I don't know how stairs work anymore. Come on, you can do it. Up we go. Okay. We need to reclaim that cube for this. Thank well you. Done. Here come the test results. You are a horrible person. That's what it says. A horrible person. We weren't even testing for that. Passive aggressive much? only one thing worse than an AI, and that's an AI with a grudge. Makes it enjoyable, though. You can't really refute that. I mean, come on. Everyone loves GLaDOS. Even though she's evil. She's great. Don't Very entertaining. That horrible person thing discourage you. It's just a data point. If it makes you feel any better, science has now validated your birth mother's decision to abandon you on a doorstep. Hmm. I wonder if they used, like, if Aperture was just, like, taking abandoned children and raising them as, like, lab rat, like, lab rat test subjects. Like, I wonder how long Chell has been in this place. Because it's not like we know anything about her life prior to the first game, really. Okie dokie, this room looks lethal. Well, there are far fewer radios in the second game playing music. 
Ooh, here's a rat tunnel. Sucker's luck. Exile. Goodness. Takes your mind. Like books. 219. Too many variables. Hmm. I guess exile is a sucker's luck. Like, the best possible option instead of death is exile. Which for Ratman, like, all of this came from a pursuit of knowledge and the horrible things that go wrong. Vilify. Don't even try. Feels like... Feels like a trial. Here's a radio. What's even playing anymore? Vilify. Feels like a trial. Interesting. There is music playing. Which means that there's a radio station out there somewhere in humanity still playing music. Which I guess that's good. Interesting. That's a laser. That was almost really bad. Okay. Um, let's get on with the testing, shall we? Let's get ourselves a redirection cube. Where does this need to go? I'm assuming right there. But why do we need a second? Because there's two lasers. That's one. Okay. And where's the second? Okay. Oh, okay. I see. Just do that. Again. Almost incinerated myself. I'm not trying to do that. Right there. Congratulations. Not on the test. Most people emerge from suspension terribly undernourished. I want to congratulate you on beating the odds and somehow managing to pack on a few pounds. It's all muscle, baby. I don't know, something about uh, kicking the butt of a giant robot just uh, gave me some extra muscle in the old biceps, you know. Gotta be strong to take down GLaDOS, right? One moment. You are navigating these test chambers faster than I can build them. So feel free to slow down and do whatever it is you do when you're not destroying this facility. Mainly thinking about destroying this facility. This game definitely feels more alive. Which is strange because everything's dead. But the facility itself feels more like it, uh, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but in the first game you feel like GLaDOS is the facility, and the facility is GLaDOS. And in the second game, it almost seems like the facility itself is its own creature that she is using, and it's just so old and decrepit that it can't do what she wants it to do anymore. She's trying to exert any control she has left, but she's lost so much control. Okay, we got sludge, everyone's favorite. Okay, we got a blank wall, we got a laser. Question is, is that going to be a problem? We have a cube, we got a button over there. I'm assuming this moves once we do that. Um, let's see, if, does it move along this wall? Here, we'll give it a we'll give it a shot here. Where's the safest place for me to be? 
Uh, let's put a portal here. That's about in line with that. And then over here. We'll get a cube out and ready. Even though we're not going to use it yet. And we got a blue one over there. So we do an orange one over there. Okay. We're good. We get to the laser. I don't know what we're going to do. I'll give you credit. I guess you are listening to me. But for the record, you don't have to go that slowly. Waddle over to the elevator and we'll continue the testing. That's all I do, baby. I waddle. That's how I get around. The passive aggressiveness levels have risen so high since the first game, man. I love it. They really, they really just <laughs> went for it as far as the writing of uh, GLaDOS's dialogue. I love it. So salty. Granted, we did kill her, but, you know, she wasn't good to begin with. So, I don't really have remorse. Okay, this... Okay. This next test involves the Aperture Science Aerial Faith Plate. It was part of an initiative to investigate how well test subjects could solve problems when they were catapulted into space. Results were highly informative. They could not. Good luck. Okay. Okay, if I remember this, yeah, I should pay attention to this. It's jumping, but then it's also momentum. So my guess would be we gotta build up some speed. So if we put a portal, say, up there, and then just get ready with the second portal, just in case. Oh, I, uh, uh, okay. I wasn't. I'm not going to lie. I didn't know that, that button released this cube. I wasn't trying to time that at all. It's too expensive to pump this far down. We just take carbon dioxide out of a room, freshen it up a little, and pump it back in. So you'll be breathing the same room full of air for the rest of your life. I thought that was interesting. How thoughtful. Thanks for trying to make me comfortable in every test chamber that I am trapped in. At least she's making an effort. Let's see what the next test is. Oh, advanced aerial faith plates. I forgot that it was well, called an, have fun a faith the plate. Air without a care in the world. I have to go to the wing that was made entirely of glass and pick up 15 acres of broken glass. By myself. You could go flying, GLaDOS. You don't have to do that. Like, come on. Live a little. There's more to life than just testing and work. Okay, well, debris is real great. Okay, we got a faith plate. I'm just, okay, so that launches me to that. That to where exactly? There's a portal surface over there, and a thing right there. So what I'm going to do is just preemptively get that, get my blue portal ready. I have no idea where I'd use it, but let's test the faith plate. There we go. You'll love to see it. And don't overshoot. Okay, good Good times. Alrighty. Uh oh. Uh oh. We got a cube. Where is that? Is that releasing all the way back in the beginning? Oh, sorry. I'm still cleaning out the test chambers. So sometimes there's still trash in them. Standing around, smelling, and being useless. Try to avoid the garbage hurtling towards you. You don't have to test with the garbage. It's garbage. Press the button again. I mean, I could probably use the garbage. I guess probably not. It rolls. 
I don't even know what that is. Yeah, I should probably catch this thing, huh? Alright, gotcha. Alright, how am I getting you over there? There's no portal surfaces over there, right? No, that's not a portal surface. Interesting. This is a bad idea, but I need to change my perspective. At least that's what I'm assuming I need to do. Because that other one over there doesn't even look... Uh... Oh, wait a minute. There's a portal surface right there. I'm stupid. See, this is why you pay attention. Please land properly. That's good enough. Remember before when I was talking about smelly garbage standing around being useless? That was a metaphor. I was actually talking about you. And I'm sorry. You didn't react at the time, so I was worried it sailed right over your head, which would have made this apology seem insane. That's why I had to call you garbage a second time just now. Good to have you back, GLaDOS. Well, as much as I would like to continue this delightful tour of insults, uh, I should probably call the episode there. People with guilty consciences are more easily startled by loud noises. I'm sorry, I don't know why that went off. Anyway, just an interesting science fact. And there we go. Okay, I'm going to end the episode there. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye.